In today's video, we take a look at a laptop buying guide for school, college or university. And are there any other options than buying one off from a main retailer locally or online? And finally, I share with you a few tips to save some money if budget is really tight. Roll the intro. Hey name tags, welcome. This is Ash from Hilmai Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. On this channel, we do repairs, reviews, and tutorials of tech, including sharing entrepreneur tips and strategies to help you unleash your true potential. In the description below, you will find timestamps for your convenience if you want to skip ahead to specific parts of the video, but I would be grateful if you watched the whole video at least the first time. Okay, like I mentioned before, this video is not sponsored by pcspecialist.co.uk, but I have mentioned them in a couple of videos I've done before in the past. They've never sponsored the channel nor any video. They are not influencing my decision to do this video at all. But I have spoken to a couple of employees today from the customer services department, namely Andrew and Jacob. So shout out to you guys. Thanks a lot for the help. Uh, I did tell them I was doing this video today and I just wanted to ask a few questions, which probably a lot of my audience would want to know and I also have expressed an interest in working with them in the future so I will be sending them an email for future collaborations or sponsorship I just wanted to make that clear at the moment this video is purely my opinion so take it with a grain of salt so there are many other places where you could probably get a laptop or desktop or any other computer configured to your liking the reason I'm choosing PC specialist is because I've actually used them before to buy my cousin a laptop for her university course and that was over one year ago and uh, we're quite happy with it. So I was happy with the overall quality and the overall service. And I kind of pride myself in only recommending products that I've actually personally used or professionally tested. But feel free to do your research and look around for a better deal if you need to. Okay, so like we mentioned before, if you just wanted to buy a laptop, you can simply just go to any retailer, local or online. And this, I'm using PC World today as an example because this link was sent to me by a relative who wanted to buy this laptop for her work slash studies. And she wanted to know whether this was a decent laptop to go for. So currently this is retailing at $429.99, allegedly with a £170 savings from £600 that was advertised before. So this is the Asus Vivo Book X405 14 inch laptop grey version. And let's go through some specs. And uh, we've got a Windows 10 64 bit, no mention whether it's Pro or Home. I would guess this is Home version. An Intel Core i3 7100U processor. It's a dual core. 4 gigabyte of RAM. 128 gigabyte SSD. Uh, 14 inch we mentioned standard 720p playback resolution due to the 1366 by 768 screen resolution LED backlighting in terms of USB it has one type C USB 3.1 one USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 the rest is pretty standard stuff let's check uh, battery six cell lithium ion meant to last up to five hours i would say this is a best case scenario maybe over exaggerated so normal daily usage would probably get you about two hours give or take someone correct me if they've got this laptop and uh, one year manufacturer's guarantee do bear in mind most of these laptops do not come with any office uh, you do get a trial version of office 365 which lasts about a month i think and a couple of trials of some antivirus software it's quite standard stuff so that's what you'd get. As a general rule, I never recommend you buying a laptop straight from a general retailer like PC Word, like Curry's, like John Lewis, like whatever. I mean, you can if you want. It's quite easy to do. A lot of people would do that. As a computer repair technician, I would not do that. And this is why we're doing this video. I'm going to recommend you something else. So let's go to PC Specialist. And uh, first, for a school, college, or uni, the first important feature is going to be the screen size and in a couple of research I've done and most students agree a 14 inch laptop is absolutely the perfect the absolute best size for most students it is slightly more expensive than the standard 15.6 inch generic standard laptop size but uh, in terms of portability and weight, this is much, much better. You could obviously go for smaller, like a 13.3 or even smaller, like 
you know 11 inch or 10.5 inch or whatever the heck they have these days but the screen size is not great 14 inch is quite ideal so the next thing you'd need to decide on this website would be do you want to go for a higher model or a lower model in this case we're going to pick the absolute lowest minimum you need to spend so we're going to start with the 14 inch ultra note 4 le there is another version without the le we'll talk about that later so let's go with this right now. So if you click on configure this laptop, I've already done that. The first thing to note is that there are not a lot of options to add other features or upgraded components. And this is because this is absolute base minimum. So in terms of chassis and display, we've got the Ultra Note chassis, 14 inch. It's a matte HD LED with a screen of uh, standard resolution of 1366 by 768. So same as the Asus processor. Now, don't cringe. This is an Intel Pentium quad core processor N4 2000. It's not an i3, which is a dual core. Now, the other is dual core and quad core. You, some of you may think what the heck is a Pentium, others may think, you know, quad core must be better than a dual core. It's not always the case. A quad core is better for applications which does take advantage of multi cores, but the dual core is actually faster for single core applications. However, you may not believe me, do your research in terms of general daily task and browsing, you will not see the difference between this quad core and the Asus i3 dual core. Trust me on that. And if you don't, do your research. So I would actually advise you, if you're gonna go look for a base model, do go for this one. But we are going to talk about the i3 later. So RAM, we're gonna leave it as four gigabyte. That's absolute minimum. Integrated Intel HD graphics. So this has got a 120 gigabyte, not 128, Kingston SSD. The other one had 128. Uh, I would say if you don't want to include this, you can take it off and select none, and you can get your own specific hard drive. Obviously take this off, the price goes down to 272, but we're going to leave it there for comparison. Where is it? Here you are, 120. The rest is not, we're not gonna add anything else. That's M2 SSD drive, we don't want that. Uh, we're gonna keep it similar. In terms of the USB options, this one does not have Type-C 3.1. It's got two USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0. For me, uh, this is negligible. I would go with that if I wanted to save some money, but we'll talk about it later. Okay, the battery. This is a four cell 44WH lithium ion battery. So the customer service person told me this has a five hours or 290 minutes rather of best case scenario usage. So similar to the Asus, I would say this is kind of exaggeration and you would probably get about two hours of normal daily use to be confirmed. The rest of the stuff is fairly standard. Now come to the OS. Are you, as you've seen, I've actually deselected the Windows 10. You can, but you do have a choice for a home or professional version. The professional version is more expensive. So with the home, the price would go up to 415 but without it. And the reason I've selected without is because of two main reasons. One, you can actually use a free operating system like Linux. And I've talked about this in the past. You can research it for a generic university or college course, unless you're doing specific computer science course or your course is requiring specific applications which only work on Windows, you will be okay with a Linux open source free operating system. If you didn't want that though, a second option would be to buy a cheaper license from a reputable retailer. For example, you could go to eBay, you could also try Amazon or any other retailer and type in something like Windows 10, genuine product key or whatever, and you're gonna get a few options. Do be cautious though. I mean, look at this, 449, I'm not sure how genuine that's going to be. You could give it a go if you are confident that you will be backed up with the uh, distance selling regulation and uh, guarantee of eBay if it turns out to be a non-genuine product. But I would say that you probably should do some research and I have bought licenses for quite cheap for about 20 pounds, maybe even under, and you can get away with it if you do your research. So make sure you don't just buy the first thing you see, okay? Let's go back to our selection. And also when you deselect the OS, the other software like the Office, etc., is gonna be deselected, uh, like antivirus and whatever, whatever. But let's go to the Office. Now, Office 
is quite important. However, I've done a video which is called Top 10 How to Get Microsoft Office Free Legally Best Free Office Alternatives for Windows, Linux and Mac. Feel free to check it out, link below or in the card above. And uh, again, in there I do talk about how you can get it for free or the best free alternatives or if you wanted to buy it again, do similar thing with Windows when you can get cheaper license from some retailers. Okay, so the rest is pretty standard and uh, in terms of the warranty, this one has actually a three year standard warranty with one month collect and return and one year pass and three year labor. You can always up to you if you want to select some higher warranty period for some extra money. That's really your choice. Right, and we'll leave the, everything else the same and they will take approximately four to six working days to build and send you this. And grand total, £323. If you want to add £20 for the license, you're going to get Windows. But there are some ways, some legal ways to actually get also Windows for free. And we may do a video on this soon. £323 compared to £429. I would say this is a winner. Uh, it's more or less the same laptop with the difference is that you can still try and, and partially upgrade this. For example, you could get more RAM, right? Uh, where's the RAM? You could put eight gigabyte of RAM and that go to 349, so that's slightly better. You could also increase your SSD to 240 gigabyte, 374, and uh, you could also get a DVD writer if you wanted to, but you know, most people don't use this anymore. But anyway, you get the idea. Right, there you go. I think it's the external. Let's put one slim uh, DVD writer, and that's 396. So you're still under the 400 pounds price mark, which is brilliant. Okay, do bear in mind a couple of other things. Um, first, I don't know if this Asus is easily opened from the back cover. I do know that the one we bought from PC Specialist was okay to get to in terms of the back cover. There was actually, I think, about three components just to remove to get either the hard drive, the RAM, or the processor. So that's something to bear in mind. But the employees tell me that it's actually quite easy to just open the back cover and access the whole of the layout for easy troubleshoot and possibly some partial upgrades. But you need to do your homework on that one. And also the other thing, uh, pretty much with the ASUS, you're gonna get what they're offering you. But with PC specialists, you can actually call them when you're doing the configuration. Maybe you might be able to get some different components or different features added on there or instead of. You'll have to speak to them. I certainly know that when I did buy the one for my cousin, we did manage to change a couple of things which was not really an option on this uh, automatic configuration uh, page. So that's also a handy thing to have. So that's an absolute minimum that you could do to get the 14 inch Ultra Note 4 LE. However, it's not the best value for money in my opinion if you wanted to configure your own laptop. So that's why we're going to do a second one which is the version without the LE. And in this one, the first thing you will notice is we have a better screen, which is actually a full HD 1080p uh, IPS LED backlit, but the same screen size. So much nicer video playback and images. Next, you have a choice of Intel Core i3, i5, or i7. Obviously, the higher the price is going to go up, but if you want to pick the same one, the i3, this is uh, the, the rest of the configuration comes to just under 500 pounds at the moment. If you wanted to pick the i5, that goes to 532. I would probably go with the i5 if I was to configure something like that, um, but that's me. Okay, let's leave it as the i3 for now. Um, RAM, I would definitely recommend the standard of 8GB these days for things like multi-tabs open and multi-applications. 4GB is an absolute minimum. Also, in this model, the HD is a Intel HD Graphics 620, 1.7GB Max DDR4 video RAM, and it's also DirectX 12 compatible. In other words, you will be able to do some decent entry-level gaming. You won't be maxing the settings, but it will be much, much better than the Asus and the previous uh, laptop we just configured. Okay, here we've actually put 240 gigabyte 
instead of 120 of SSD storage space. And the rest is pretty much similar. Go down to the USB option. We do have a type C, one USB 3.1 port and one 3.0 and one 2.0. A bit limited, but at least you get uh, you know all three of them. The battery remains the same. Again, we've selected no OS because we know what to do with that. And pretty much the rest of the stuff is standard three year warranty and turn around four to six working days. I forgot to mention also about the antivirus software. I have also done a video in the previous lifetime. It was a bit silly. So it's best free antivirus anti spyware teaching my friend Bob how to etc. It's a bit silly, but you know, you can actually use free versions of antivirus and anti spyware. I actually use free versions myself. It's been okay. Check the video out and let me know. So we'll go back to the um, slightly better version and the grand total is 494 so okay a bit more expensive than the asus however a much much better laptop and also this you can actually like i said you can configure it further like with the i5 or i7 really up to you still uh, this laptop is it as upgradable as you think probably i think they told me that the once you select the uh, processor it will be soldered on because it comes in three different versions of motherboard so you can't actually uh, at least not for most people would not be able to desolder the processor and upgrade in the near future however there are other laptops in their selection which will give you much better upgradable options you need to give them a call if you want to buy from them and they will advise you of the most appropriate one certainly for myself i don't have a laptop yet you know my feelings about laptop in fact i've done a couple of videos and i've done one that's called never buy a laptop and where is it it's this one there oops it's this one and uh, it says never buy a laptop do this instead how to buy a laptop guide 2017 for students college uni in which i talked about that if i were going to spend 500 pounds i would not do that i would uh, i would build myself a desktop and with the rest of the money get myself a tablet for portability and which would give me much more performance and actually double system so that's all good stuff but the point is there are plenty of other models which are a lot more upgradable not soldered on chips but obviously you'll have to pay a bit more money including getting yourself a gaming laptop if you really want to it'd be stupid but that's your choice man in terms of looks this 13.3 inch lafite 3 is probably the closest when it comes to look to the macbook but not exactly a MacBook, if you know what I mean. All right, so there you have it. I hope this guide has been helpful. Do remember, this is only an option. You've got plenty of options. You've also got plenty of the retailers. This was only my opinion on this particular time. And I'm looking forward to hear from PC specialists for future collaborations, if possible. That's the end of today's video. Couple of final notes before the outro. This video was not sponsored. You will find show notes and links to everything I've talked about in the description below and in the cards above. Any affiliate link to sites like Amazon or eBay is clearly identified and if you click them and follow through with the purchase, it will not cost you anything extra and you will help the channel with a small kickback so it's a win-win for everyone. One more thing, if you want to ask a question, please be as specific as possible including all the relevant details. You can check out this video which I did called The Art of Asking the Wrong Question where I address this very common problem so we can help each other out without getting frustrated and wasting time. That's it for today folks, like, dislike, share this vid and comment below. And if you found the content helpful, consider subscribing to help the channel and keep you notified of future videos. Once again, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for watching. This was Ash from Hill My Tech helping you go from newbie to techie. Until next time, peace out.